Dude, he's cute, but those eyes look evil. Dude, a boop. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can get the sidewinder. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. There's desert banded geckos and there's the other variety. We're gonna tear it up all the way maybe till midnight uh, as long as the weather cooperates and the herbs do. We skipped straight past the flipping. We went to the road cruising. Now I got a, a, this tasty little cookie in this jar right here, but you don't want to reach in for it because he's a little spicier than the cookies you may be used to. Make sure that I pull this off without getting in range. No way. Okay. It's like a brown and white cream cookie. Yeah, California's known for having some pretty good cookies. You'll get lit, but if you get lit by this guy, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a cookie to make you feel happy again. He does got cookie colors, though. This is what you put in the cookie jar to help you with that diet that you're not disciplined enough <laughs> to hang with. You put one of those and you will never eat that cookie ever again. <laughs> I know we're going to see more snakes That's because I have one, to go man. pee. Yeah. So. Just in case you guys don't know, and if I hadn't said anything yet or you weren't listening, we're out herping with Techno Indo, Ian, and Silence Do Good, Ryan. We're using this new group herping technique. Come right here. Watch yourself. Okay. Watch yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I'm a big monster over here. I, I, I'm not letting them get too close to me. This freaking yeah, tail looks like a corn. Yeah. There we go. You gonna say hello? Uh, uh, I guess I don't know. We got a soap pack. He's pretty cute, but uh, he don't taste cute and he don't feel cute. So we're gonna go find something that I can handle and, and feel more, more cuddly about. No, he wants to cuddle. It's just, he just wants to do it with his teeth. Wow, he's beautiful. I right, got a little red rattlesnake here, red diamond back. I'm gonna kind of go around him right here while he's, while he's on his way. <laughs> he got the tickles. Easy, dude. Don't worry. He's cocked the other way. The safety police are going to catch you. What are you talking about? I am the safety police. Hey, you idiot. Don't do that. Oh, that was me. My bad. <laughs> the group herping guys is totally working out. Several eyes looking for the critters on the road and then their knowledge of where they are and when, when they're going to be there. I'd say they want to see a snake, huh? Is that the one I threw off the road? <laughs> we have no way. Did you mark him? Oh, it was just right here like a little bit ago. Technically, you cannot can, can handle molest it. So if I pit it, we're good. <laughs> right, Probably <Roger>. not. <laughs> Into red right around his eyes and then other spots right there. Oh, you guys, I'm so happy. Snake riot shield. <laughs> so as Matthew said, we put up a snake riot shield so we can guard ourselves. If we can get our hands on a speckle and then a sidewinder, we will have like the whole list completed in this area. Is there anything I'm missing? Um, as far as crows go, no. Yeah, down here in SoCal, that's about it. We went ahead and relocated him right off the road. Most people here are not going to see this thing coming around these corners um, before they toast it, and half of them probably won't avoid it anyways uh, because it's worth 10 points. Good tips, good tips. We are three for three for these freaking hot snakes down here. Our first sidewinder. That's actually the most flattened out I've ever seen a sidewinder get. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely been on the Atkins diet because he's... <laughs> He is all thinned out, man. He's, <laughs> he's starting to look like the snake version of me. He's got camouflage sandy eyes. His eyes look like crosses. That's what he's going to put you under, a cross. It's a cross between dying and almost dying. If you guys look closely, you can see not only does he have the ridges on his eyes, he's also got these little ridges on his back. It's a blur winder. Oh, there we go. Now we can kind of see the spikes and the scales right Very there. Nice. He's totally trying to camouflage in. How many more beads do we need before we make a, a rattlesnake bracelet? Uh, 17 more. Or a whole snake. <laughs> Just wear the whole sand viper alive. It goes from round to flattened out pancake kind of thing right there. Pancake, I mean. It reminds me of kind of a beat up off-road course as I'm following him around. Just have little tiny rally cars rallying on his back. <laughs> yeah, Sidewinder <laughs> rally car. You know Hot Wheel always comes up with those crazy names for their tracks? The Sidewinder hot entertainment for the whole family. This is what you let the adopted kids play with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I turn That's my a good one. Uh, all right, guys, I didn't mean it. If you're adopted, okay, that is just a very distasteful <laughs> joke, okay? okay? We're going to try and uh, do some rattlesnake feeding here, or rattlesnake drinking time. Rattlesnakes are people, too, okay? Okay, not really, but you should still love them. Let's, let's water this thing. It's just like watering the lawn, only you need anti venom to do it. It bites all five of us. Rattlesnakes are not people, they're soulless people. Here, watch that hand. Okay, cool. You might be right that he might not react to the water. 
I, yeah. Yeah, I can literally see the bee drops, and I'm not sure if he thinks it's raining or we're just really evil herpers that are peeing on him. I was making a joke about putting him on as a bracelet, and it's really cool because he got all those beads you can wrap him around. And normally, you put a, a little trinket on your bracelet or your necklace, and then with this guy, the trinket would have the anti venom for the snake that you're wearing, just in case. <laughs> don't try that, guys. Okay, don't. It's a bad idea. All right, we're gonna see if we can get the sidewinder. Whoa! Holy, Holy crap! Dang, that thing winds. He ain't winding, he's unwinding. Somebody Everybody get this guy back. a Tecate. He needs to calm down. Look at him go. Oh my god, it's like a hop and sidewinder. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, stay away. Alright. I think. You guys want to let him go or you want me to get him? We're good, we're yeah, good. Yeah, I think I'm good too. Right. I think at this point, guys, you consider that thing released. He is really worked up when he runs, and I think we could easily exhaust a lot of his energy. And here in the desert, that could be bad for him. Half a week's worth of energy worth of mice he just blew right there. So we're going to call it quits on him. What are we doing here? What is this? A dumb water bottle race created by Neo. Don't even, you have to poke Hot it. rod water bottles. Hot rod water bottles, huh? Yep. So we got the carbon fiber water bottle. What? Not carbon fiber. Well, <laughs> carbon fiber? Yeah. I don't, I don't see any carbon fiber on that. Plastic fiber. Okay, okay. plastic fiber. Okay, we're starting right. this race. It's, seen, it's got smart fiber. We're starting. Three, if it gets more than 100 two, feet away from me, that's littering. One. Away. <laughs> away. Go, 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 go. That one's cheating. Go, go lady. On. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, looks like the cheater. Oh, oh, oh. off the road bumper cars. You're smoked. Oh, oh no. I'm catching up to Ian and Mike. Uh, uh, Ryan right now? Geez, sorry, Ryan. It's better than the name some people call me. Yeah, I've been called some pretty some pretty bad names too. All right, guys, another lifer. We're trying to catch the gopher snake. Oh yeah, you're catching him real good. All right, he's leaving. Go and I'll stop him. Man, that gopher goes. Hopefully, this isn't like the world's first hybrid rattlesnake gopher. This is probably no antidote for that. I forgot to say, the gophers out here—they are venomous, highly yeah. venomous. Yeah, highly huh? venomous gophers, and it's not just the gophers. Risking my life. It's the actual gophers too. I have had 36 years of snake handling. It started when I was in diapers. I actually, no, back then my parents were handling it for me. Having a hard time with that. And what what variation is this, Ryan? I want to say it's snoring, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah. So, guys, when the snakes get away, you only got one hand. <laughs> Oh my god, you're holding him with your lips. Okay, okay. okay guys, don't do this. This thing's probably been crawling in a rat hole. And I'm going to go home and kiss my wife right after this. I'm not going to tell her anything about what I just did. It's and I mean, besides, we're even because now we've both had a snake in our mouth. Okay. Oh god, that will never ever be uploaded. We are professional herpers, even though we're using other herpers to look like pros. <laughs> Neil, come hold this pro for Look, he's the same color. He, he kind of matches you. He's got little blemishes. You've got little blemishes here. You can go right there. How's that sound? <laughs> That's perfect. He like wraps around Neil's he's, big he's old totally nose. He's totally repulsed by your puberty, bro. Hanging out by Neil's arm. He's, he's got a nice coil. Don't move, Neil. That looks skinny. <laughs> you always look skinny. This is how you make a gopher snake burrito. We're gonna let him up. Ryan's gonna go get the tortilla. This is our first Sonoran gopher snake. He's like one of the kids with ADD. You just want him to sit for five seconds and it's just not happening. Coloration in the orange and the pink is because somebody's been feeding, feeding him Gatorade or cactus cooler. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see a hint of the orange and the pink on his tail. That looks like a completely different snake. He looks like a, a half off paint job on some of those cars you see driving down the street. Yeah, where they didn't finish the paint job. They just thought about it. And they're like, ah, this is good enough. He went to Mako. That's what happens. Just lost your Mako sponsorship. Yeah. We're taking the snake. Oh, gonna so release him. We want you to go this way so you don't go back on the road. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, never mind. Man, I think we got a pro crew here, guys. We are on it. That's number four. Yep. It finally happened. There is roadkill, and we did it. But we were prepared. Don't ask me where I got the flowers, okay? can't believe we smoked a freaking gecko, man. I feel so sad. I have an emotional bond with geckos. Well, you've been emotionally unbonded with that gecko. And he's been emotionally unbonded with his soul. I know you didn't get to see us pull over for it. We got a Rosie. Jeez, another Rosie. We did it, buddy. Dual Rosies. Normally when I dual wield, I'm on Warcraft. We're gonna go seek shelter behind the rocks in the truck. This is why I got my permits. <laughs> we relocated out of the wind. I mean, they're real bright and colorful. They almost look like a girl's makeup. You know, I can put them up here and go like that. And then I got rosy brows. You see that? I got rosy, ah, my eye, Jesus. Okay, that's not a real thing and it shouldn't be. Uh, oh, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I wanna wear my rosy boas. I don't always wear snakes, but when I do, 
I prefer Dos Snakeys. Oh, they're crisscrossing, crisscross, like, like back in the 90s. If you guys see, they have just this really slow, gentle, passive movement. Kind of like old people, similar color too. They just move slowly throughout the environment, not giving a crap about what anyone else thinks. They're from the Old Testament, 900 years. Okay, I'm a bad person, I'm a bad person. The mating is commenced. Totally doing body surfing as uh, Ian calls it. Snake surfing, the whole snake's on the other snake. That now. is crazy. I wish I could just walk up to the ladies and do this. I got to resort, resort to online dating. Like that? Oh my God. The right. boa's inspecting my boa. This is not going well. Oh, hey, what the heck? Uh, looks like your girlfriend just got away, dude. You better chase that tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that nubby. It looks like the back end of a trimmer. You guys remember that movie, Trimmers? Graboid. Yeah, that's right, he's a graboid. Graboids. And they are kind of old, so maybe these graboids got hemorrhoids because that, that lump looked a little swollen to me. <laughs> graboids with hemorrhoids. You guys. I'll tell you one thing you will never need to film a rosy boa is slow motion. These things must like live centuries. Then they just go so slow. So, rubber boas? Rubber boas will live uh, 80 years, uh, potentially longer, so they don't produce many offspring. They live a very long time. And because these guys are close cousins, I would kind of bet that there's a similar thing going on. Wow. Oh my God. So, so these are going to outlive me. That's great. The boys are going to have to take care of them. That's amazing. Oh my God. So when I was busting out those old people jokes, I wasn't far from it. We're going to go here, get just a tad bit closer than we've gotten. And then they were sending them on their way. And we're going to go get that granite night lizard wherever it went. And we lucked out. This thing went completely stationary. Rosy boa eyes. Rosie Boza Noza. Oh, oh, no, he's bailing. So that's about the texture pattern right there. You can see the grayish purple and the pinkish. I don't know if this thing is an optical illusion. What the heck? There's an ant. An ant just ran across our boa. Let's go check out those vents back there. I'm gonna just hold it like that. There's the female vent right there, so you can see it's a girl. Let's check out the nub on this trimmer real quick. Okay, this is the opposite of human beings. With Rosie Boas, the female has the bigger nub. Okay, let's check out the male. Yep. We're gonna show you the male vent right here with the little spurs. Those are prehensile legs. Is that what they are? Yeah. They don't look quite as big as what I'd imagine them to be, but... Yeah, they're mostly vestigial. They go underneath the flesh. So snakes came from lizards, and these are what happens to the legs of the snakes as they evolved. Wow, that's just crazy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put these back where we found them. Oh. <laughs> It tickles. Oh. <laughs> Normally I pick my own nose, but I might be onto something here. We just found a granite night lizard. Right. For those of you who haven't seen a granite night lizard, they look like a normal night lizard, just more granity. It's time to release the rosy boas in this nice rock pile. <laughs> He's a ball. Uh, that one's booking it. <laughs> Whoa. Slide it down. And I feel like I just lost a friend. Goodbye, Rosie Broas. I feel sad now. I feel like something's missing in my life now. That's because your brother just fell off a cliff because of the wind. Oh, <laughs> crap. No, I'm just kidding. Plus, they're up, guys. We are taking the craziest, fugliest mutant selfie you've ever seen. <laughs> We've never got to do this together with anyone, and this is just a blast. So I would highly recommend getting to know some perfect strangers and going out and having some fun. <laughs> oh my god. And we just took like a total like the thing mutant selfie. It looked ridiculous. Uh, dude? Yeah. Bingo. You could probably grab it, uh, but you can go for it too. That was a beautiful night lizard. It got away, but that's like the second time in a couple minutes we've seen one. We're gonna go get us another one. Oh, no, I, I almost got him. No, 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 jeez. Why is he so squirmy? Buddy! <laughs> yes! Dude, like Ian doesn't have the lamellae. What's a lamellae? The gecko toes, right? It's a lizard, it's not a gecko. Oh! I didn't even know what a lamellae was. I thought he was sharing a secret recipe oh, for some yeah. really good pie. Lamellae pie. It's the sticky hands. With our new dream team, we're able to catch some pretty amazing stuff. I was right. Did you guys hear that? That's a mountain idiot. They're a nearly extinct species because of their poor behavior in public. It's kind of funny. His lungs only take up a little teeny part of his body. Yeah, but look at that back pattern. Look, you know, it's not a leopard lizard, but it's a leopard pattern. That's the granola night lizard, all organic in the wild. No, <laughs> sorry guys. Let's, uh, let's take a little look here. 
This is a really cool looking lizard. It is way cool. And then like Ian pointed out, it's not a gecko even though it looks like one. Yeah, it doesn't have the sticky hands that allow it to stick to glass and climb up on those surfaces. It's got those long claws for climbing on rock. He's cute, but those eyes look evil. This is the Indominus granite lizard. It's a good thing he's only three inches long because if I saw that out in the, in the wild and he was like Komodo size, we'd have to call him the Marines. Thankfully, he's the size of a chunk of granola. Let's go ahead and release him and be on our way. No choice. Pick up the whole thing of sand. Okay, you got him? You got him? Yep. Okay, we're releasing the granite night lizard over here. We found your, your dying he granite rocks. almost died on that rock. That was close one, <laughs> Almost buddy. released dad into the next life. Granite death rocks. Okay, so I think it's like right there. Okay, somebody poke him. I'm gonna have to go for the assist. Okay, we had to help him with his release, but here he is, nice and free, back in his habitat of a granite rock. You gonna run? There he goes. Look at him go. Oh, there he goes. All right. That's... Oh, there's a crack. Oh. All right. All right. He rolled. We're rolling. Lizards at night. Yeah. Night lizards at night. Who'd have thought? Oh, whoa. Getting windy. There's no way I was gonna see that. <laughs> Great eye, dude. We just road cruised this little pint-sized stick bug at about 40-something miles an hour. So we're gonna put him over here. I know he's just a bug. You, no, no, no. Let go, let go. Let go of my cuticle, okay? I'll trim him myself, bro. Let go. What's wrong with you? Oh, okay, okay, we got him. <laughs> Alright, guys, we gotta get cruising. Let's roll. Dude, there's more heat here right now. I like this heat. The heat is on. I sing like crap. I rip off songs. We are way up on the sand dunes. I know it's dark, you can't see. We're trying to get up these sand dunes. But they just keep taking us back down. That's trippy. Yeah, that is trippy. Oh no. No. It's just sand lanching. It basically erodes all the way to the top and then it stops. Got a good good observation point right here. Ian is out there in the sand dunes. He's searching. We're hoping to pick up a trail of whatever may have crossed lizards, snakes. Unless I'm mistaken. Doesn't that look like that comes up and not down? Like there was something that was burrowing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and it could have went down the other way down by you too, Neil. That was definitely a snake trail. Um, underground doing his trimmer thing through the sand. No idea what species because there's like three or four species of them that dig out here. All right, guys, we're going to head down to the truck now. The sand dunes aren't yielding quite what we, what we wanted to. We found the snake trails, but they're swimming away from us, literally through the sand. We're going to get back to the road cruising and hopefully find some cool stuff. Is it still warm out? All right, out of here. We are totally heading out of here. Oh, don't kill that thing. That was a, a creeper, a jeeper creeper, sand sneaker. He thinks he's in a sandbox or something. We bury him out here, we'll never find him. We went back to the road cruising. Oh, here's the gecko right here. There's desert banded geckos and there's the other variety. And I'm like, wait, this is like the other one. But I could be wrong on that. I thought there was two of them out here. You can see his little gecko -y fingers right there. And they're closely related, but one of them doesn't have the bands. When I'm looking at him right now, he's like a spotted gecko. Yeah. Instead of a banded gecko. The ones we're used to seeing normally have different color stripes. Yeah, he's, he looks like a spotted cow gecko kind of thing. It's, where's the beef, dude? We're gonna go cruising some more and find us some new critters. Ah. Guys, it is late. It is late. We've been out like all night. Ah. <laughs> you didn't even notice that Ian put a gecko on your shoulder? See, I'm tired. He's getting tired. All right, let's take him off the road. We're going to put him down right here in a nice little solid bushy spot so he will be safe. We're going to cruise down this road for the next few hours. Hopefully we'll find some really cool colorful snakes. Guys, we found a huge gopher snake. All right, come here, buddy. He's like, what's grabbing my butt? I'm not at the club anymore. I wonder if you'll call for me. Go to Neo. Go to Neo. <laughs> uh, he looks pretty awesome. What if you let me get over here and take a little look? Okay, so we don't attack the camera. It costs more than a $40 bad looking pet snake. Okay, I got I got my bracelet. All right, uh, no, don't crawl on my butt. No butt snakes today. Maybe it'll like Neil's face. <sighs> it's all hissing. I think it sees your pimples. It doesn't like them. Here, we need to pop that pimple, pop that pimple. The snake hates my face. Ah! That's why he's running from it. Would be my guess. I don't think this snake knows where he's going. Oh, there you go. Okay, apparently that's where he's choosing to stay. 
a defense push. All right, dude, you're free because we're leaving. Say bye bye. Ah, or is that blur by? Blur by. Ah. You booping? <laughs> Your big pink jerk is what he's saying. Go like on. Patrick Starr. Hey, SpongeBob. He's kind of brown and gold. He's boop. He's, he's, <laughs> boop, he's boop Bob. How was the booping going? <laughs> he's, he, he, he's had enough of your freaking pimples. You're hired. Uh, you, you boys ready to go? Yeah. Yep. That was the best snake experience in my life. That is the third snake we've seen tonight within 30 minutes. And the last two, the car in front of us ran them over. Hey, he's organic. But that doesn't really help when he gets ran over, okay? Well, he's in a crop. We want him to be in the crop, but not in the crop as fertilizer. Snake farming. Farming snakes since 2000. He's squiggling away. Get back here, squiggle sticks. What is that? Looks like he might be a shovel. He has a shovel nose. That is the fastest stick I've ever seen, other than Neo. What? Nothing. We weren't talking bad about you at all. Okay, I promise. That sounds it was him. He said it. He's a dirt bag. See? He doesn't even defend himself. That's how you know he's guilty. I, this is a felon right here. The boys think we caught a shovel nose. I'm not sure. No, it's 100% a shovel nose. There's a little, oh. little tiny orange band between his black. Okay. It's 100% a shovel nose. I've stand corrected. Okay. Rude kids. Nobody images. raises their children nowadays. They all act like punks. Are you a punk, Mr. Snake? He pooed on me. He's a punk, too. Why is everybody so mean to me? All right, whatever. I'm not sure if that made sense, but I don't care. Today, we're just going to pretend it was so I can feel good. Or is. Or does. Dang it. Learn how to English. Learn how to use a camera. Last time I watched what you did, our shots were shaky. <laughs> we're going to sit him down. Let's see if he... Holy shit. We ought to. I see why he's called Shovel Nose. The front of his face looks so... Black. Oh my god, he looks so cute. He's looking at me. Dude, a boop. <laughs> Neo. <laughs> Every snake today hates Neo. That's how you know you're skinny when snakes are picking fights with you. He thinks he's long enough to get you. He's still just, he's just striking the air. Guys, I just got. Did he try and bite me? Where'd he go? He's always on me. He's in me. He's around me. He's through me. Get back here, punk. Now he's biting the rubber. That's wrong with him. My snake bites the rubber too. Will the snake smoke? What? The snake is not gonna smoke. <laughs> oh, he's smoking. <laughs> oh, that, that's so bad. You, All right. you, know, you got him addicted to nicotine. You're so rude. Really? How was I supposed to- No, 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 to... don't crawl on me. How was I supposed to know he's a smoker? You just made him one, Neil. He... All right, we finally got him to stay still and look pretty. All right, shovel nose, show us what you got. That is definitely a nose full of shovel. That must be why he can't bite. Look, look at him tracking me. What, you want some of this? He's not really good at striking. I think his big old iron nose is weighing him down. What? <laughs> Saying bit me, bit Neo. It probably bit everyone who drove past too. The sky breathes pretty slow. I think he's kind of calm now. Let's see how calm he is. Yep, to totally calm. He's just leaving. Neil wants to play with the snake. Here you go, bro. He's so smelly. Ah. <laughs> Let hold that snake. Jesus! That's a thousand subs we just lost right there with that face. Don't do that. Bought this face. Okay, we might have just gained a thousand back. Let me get a little closer. I just got to get you out of the shot. Nobody wants to see you. <laughs> What? No, Nobody loves you, Neil. <laughs> oh, God, Neil, stop I'm doing the, that. I'm in the shot. No, you're taking the shot out. You're full of shots. That's enough shot. You what? keep looking like that, and you're going to get shot. One of our YouTubers is going to find us. They don't want to see this no more. Stop looking like this. <laughs> oh, my bad. Now the snake doesn't want to look at you. I'm sorry, I forgot. This is a nature channel. Ish. He's so low gravity. He just floats. So do you. Hey, you want you want to go, snake? You want to wow, go that mountain? Wow, that was that was flying, right? Time to release the not so tri band. Doesn't tri band have more a lot more color than that? Black, white, and orange. I don't. I think the reason he doesn't have his like orange tri bands is because he's so young. 
feet. If we're looking like foolish right now, I blame him. Kids are supposed to know everything. You didn't even know what the snake was called until I told you. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was, it was the snake. The snake. That's the name of the snake. That's the species. It's the snake. The snake. The snake. It's a species. It's a thing. Look at this meteor. Okay, quit smelling his butt. You're saying he smelled bad. You're just being really offensive. He's your smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He smells worse. Talks pretty big for a guy who was in diapers a year ago. <laughs> yeah, a year ago. Eh? <laughs> Okay, okay, that would make me look even worse than him. What kind of a parent? These are kids in diapers till they're 15. This guy. No, you think And probably that guy right there. Never. And if you're a girl, then it's the guy sitting next to you. I know, I can see. I've got two brave vision. I can see right through. I can see into the future. <sighs> I'm lying. If I knew that, I would have known where we're putting the snake. Well, right here, put future. him in this tree right here. I'm pretty sure that's where he wants that's to be, right? <laughs> We gonna that's release this thing or what, dude? Where are we putting them? Somewhere where we won't get just smoked. All right, there's a tree right there. There's another tree right, there. right there. There's Neo's bed right there. Let's. Let, no, no, we gotta find really, really. He's he's good over here in the creosote. Hold him up. No. There we go. Don't bite me. Ah! Stop it, snake. You don't like you. Your face is offensive. Okay. We we moved off the, the road. I hope you don't bite me in the face and we found this really nice handy dandy creosote bush to release. You know when I said lift him up to show everyone, I, I didn't mean like sit a, a pooed snake on your face. Okay, put him down. <laughs> well, now he's a part of me. And besides that literally that face you're like making was horrific. That that was not the face of a nature lover. Okay, that snake is gone. Did you guys see the the look Matthew was making? It's like he was holding a freaking piranha. Like a flying piranha, not even a normal piranha. And not even just a normal flying piranha. It's a flying unicorn rainbow piranha. All right, we got a big car coming, big truck. We gotta get off the road. Let this freaking monstrous thing pass. It's Rosie Bow and Pizza. Good friends and the kids. Um, did I wash my hands? Damn, I'm hungry. <laughs> ah, there we go. Look, it's Rocky Balboa. Damn it, he's trying to get the pizza. Oh, he senses the heat. My he detects God. a better thermal zone in that pizza box. Pizza. Yeah, yeah, I got pepperoni boa pizza. I'm gonna live up this moment with Mr. Boa and Mr. Pizza. And nobody's gonna stop me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently he's never had pizza before either. On bite, dude? Maybe not. He seems to prefer the pepperoni more than I than this stuff over here, I noticed. Yeah. yeah. That yeah, that's, that's like halfway vegan. Mm -hmm. mm. You got a nice little bracelet there. We are bonding for life. Our bond is unbreakable. And not just that, Rosie Boas are very dependable. He's still there for emotional support. Some people have emotional support dogs. I've got emotional support snake. Right after I say that, he goes Rocky Balboa and punches me in the eye. <laughs> you traitor! And then he runs away with my pizza. The Rosie Boa pizza party just got, just got ransacked by the sprinkler system here in the park, so party over. We are still herping with Ian Techno Indo, so you guys should go check out his channel. There's a really awesome video of an indigo snake. If you guys wanna save some snakes, pretty much the most rare, awesome, badass, powerful snake in the country, you guys are gonna check out the video. I'm gonna throw links. It's more worthy than half the stuff we put out. Uh-oh, I hear a diesel. A whole truck up here? What do you truck. expect? Half a truck on the road? Semi. The guy's just gonna drive half a truck? I said And if, if anywhere if anywhere in the country a half a truck was gonna be driven, it would be California with their emission standards. You're not even allowed to have whole vehicles anymore. We're gonna let these cars pass? That's what I feel. It's before. I should have told her, I got five bucks, come back! Dude, that didn't sound like a $5 hoe. That sounded like a $3 hoe, okay? She had a smoker's voice. I'm sorry, but when you light up that much, I get a discount. <laughs> hey, would you guys like to go to Mexico? Too far. Way All too right. far. Right. Oh, you reached into Mexico, let's go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in about 25 years. <laughs> 25 years later. Almost four in the morning. We road cruised all night. We will see you guys next time with something newer, better, bigger, more colorful.